There is the new majority, the Republican-controlled House now, that has its own hashtag and hat gear. But as one senator reminded us this week, the Republican-controlled state Senate is the old majority. Next, we'll hear from the leader of the old majority, Senate President Robert Stivers. He served our state Senate since 1997 and represents Clay, Knox, Lee, Owsley, Whitley, and Wolf counties. Please join me in welcoming Kentucky State Senate President Robert Stivers. I heard that. Renee, I was going to thank you for having us here, but now that I've been defined as the old majority, I'm not so certain. Folks, truly it is a pleasure to be here. And it has been just a whirlwind day. Um, four years ago, I came here as a first timer, being the Senate president that succeeded David Williams. And I was here with an incumbent governor and a group of people who had been and held these positions for many years. Today we come after having a third day of the session passing many bills and parts of legislation that this group is interested in. And so as we finished, we hustled off the floor to come here. We were talking and my good friend Jeff Hoover and Jonathan Shell were still on the House floor doing their business because they haven't completed. And I know that as I came through, I still had my coat on and, and the wind had been blowing and things of that nature. And I thought, wow, how does my hair look? First person I ran into was Bill Lear. I thought about asking him, but I thought, mm, not a good person to ask for hair advice. I told Bill I would do that to him again. But truly, um, this is a day of many firsts. I saw somebody else talking about hair advice over here to my right. I won't identify that person. But it is a day of firsts. And to that extent, we don't have the opportunity to hear Jeff Hoover uh, because he is on the House floor. And that is the one first I want to give you. As Speaker Stumbo, then Speaker Stumbo used to say, he wanted to congratulate Jeff Hoover on being the longest serving minority leader in the history of Kentucky. Let me welcome Jeff Hoover to this group and have the state welcome him and the chamber welcome him as the first Republican Speaker of the House in 95 years. We also have a first. I want to congratulate Representative Rocky Atkins for being the first Democrat minority leader of the House in 95 years. And I want to thank him for his work and his effort in helping Jeff Hoover become the first Republican speaker in 95 years. I heard some oohs and ahs. <laughs> well, you're saying, well, you've tried to add some levity, not been very good. I'm not quite the comic or, or speaker that Morgan McGarvey is, but I will say he's the closest thing to the Republican and the Democrat caucus that they have. <laughs> so you're asking what does all this mean and the talk that Morgan has started with? Let me tell you what the change means in this state. For 20 years I've sat here as a committee chair, a floor leader, Senate president, and I've watched bills, the bills that were spoken of here earlier, pass the Senate, overwhelming numbers, sometimes with Democrat support, and go to the House and never get a hearing. Or sometimes, I know how good is here, he and I went to the House, to a committee, to speak on right to work because I sponsored it. And the Senate members in my caucus called what they called the Economic Development and Labor Committee the Labor and Labor Committee, because that's about all it was. And as we walked in, Hal and I looked at each other and I said, hmm, I do know what Custer felt like at his last stand, but I know what the outcome is going to be. That outcome is never any more certain today than it is with the fact that the House has now started, not the Senate, and passed a right-to-work bill. It will be in our possession later on this evening 
and we plan to hold hearings on it tomorrow afternoon. That bill, along with repeal of prevailing wage, paycheck protection, the other bills that have been discussed and talked about are what it means to have a difference in Frankfurt. Part of that difference is a new governor, a governor who will go out on the stump and throughout the state and advocate for these issues. And I want to commend Governor Bevan for all the work he has done in dealing with the problems that truly, I feel, the Senate has tried to lead on for over 20 years without much success. So thank you, Governor Bevan, for all that you have done in the first 15 months of your administration. With the change of this climate and the change of the dynamics between the respective House and the respective parties, we are now in a position to create a climate, a better climate for this business community. People say, well, you're catering to the business community. No, we're not. We're here to cater to the people of the state of Kentucky. By helping you all have a better business environment, looking at tax codes and having reforms, looking at pensions and having reforms, looking at regulations and having reforms, looking at all the things that will make a better business environment, that will help you all create jobs. Jobs. And if we were to create 140,000 jobs, be it the average of the nation for creation of jobs and workforce placement, what would we do? We would have 140,000 more jobs. Think of our tax base. Think what it means to be able to retire a debt to the pension system if we had this type of growth in our economy. With that, as we go through and we continue to create this environment, we create the jobs, we put more people to work, I agree with Morgan. What do we have? We will have more revenues. With those revenues, we will be able to build better infrastructure. We will be, be, have better K through 12 education, and we will be able to better fund our universities. That is what this all means. The other day, I think I was before this group, and the question was asked to me, when the session ends, what do you want to be able to say about this session? Well, this is what I want to say about the session. But it's what I want to say about Kentucky. This past summer, Southern Legislative Conference came to Lexington and we had a wonderful event. And I want to thank Bob Quick and the mayor for all the help and assistance because it was a great, great time and a great exposure of the city of Lexington and the state of Kentucky to 1,500 people from throughout the South. At that conference, we tried to make it all about Kentucky. And there was one of my favorite groups, one of my son's favorite groups from Eastern Kentucky called Sunday Best. And you're saying, well, what does this have to do with what you want this session to be about in Kentucky? Well, let me quote one of their better known songs, I Want to Go Home, in the last few verses. And this is so much about me, and I think it should be so much about Kentucky. I was born here in Kentucky. It's where my soul will rest in peace. I've been all around this great big world, and there's no place I would rather be. Thank you all, and God bless.